Hey guys, how you all doing this evening? My name is Simsy, welcome back to some more FIFA 23 career mode here today on the channel. We have episode 5, live stream 5 of my Manchester United career series. Here today we have the quarterfinals in the Europa League, kicking things off with a match against Bayer Leverkusen. Juventus and Benfica in the other quarters, West Ham Man City, along with Zab, Greb and Leon. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. How's everyone doing here today? Uh, Charm and Bennett, Ding Dong, the goat is here, okay. Uh, first, Vilmar, you weren't. I'm here, I was first. Okay, right, yeah, I think uh, Bennett was first. <laughs> How is uh, everyone doing? All right. Well, after a little bit of a break from... Oh, whoops. The fucking... This overlay is on and it shouldn't be. My bad. Give me a moment. All right. We're good now. I have to fucking alt tab to do it. I can't wait until we can properly use FIFA 23 on OBS properly and I fucking... Don't need to use the display capture. <laughs> a little bit of a nuanced thing there. Anyway, uh, what was the point I was going to say? Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so yesterday, if you haven't gone and watched it, uh, if you love Ultimate Team, highly recommend it, as we are... Uh, I did a five-hour live stream on Ultimate Team. We started the Road to Glory. It was launch day for FIFA 23, so I thought, why not let's mix things up, have a bit of a break for the United Career Series, because we did like four days straight in a row. Um... So, yeah, we had a bunch of Ultimate Team games. We built a pretty solid, like, 20k Premier League team. We picked up a lot of good wins. So many of those squads were worth... Like, we, our squad was probably worth, like, 20 bucks Australian. We were versing teams that were, like, 200 300 dollars worth. It was kind of insane, um, the squads we were versing. And, like, even Division 9 and 10. So, we had a couple of pretty good results. So... I thought, why not? Launch day, let's do some Ultimate Team. There's a big five-hour stream that you can go watch back if that's something you're interested in. But anyway, we're going to be continuing this United Career Series. And hopefully, we can go far in the Europa League here today. The main objective for this series, if you guys remember, is to try and make top four. We won the Carabao Cup and try and go far in the FA. And I'd like to go far as well in the Europa League, but by Leverkusen and also Juventus, Man City, West Ham... You never know. In the latter stages, things could get difficult. Good luck. Thank you, Jewel. Are you going to do more Premier League clubs? Question mark. Yes, I haven't decided what I'm going to do after this, but we'll do a... We're going to probably do two, three seasons of this United Career Series, but we're going to go and eventually play and more than likely live stream um, every single team in Europe's top five leagues, I think. That's what I, that's what I like to play. But hey, we could do an AFC Richmond series. Uh, we could potentially do a Credit Club. We could even do a Road to Glory. Um, maybe starting in the Championship. I don't know. I haven't really decided just yet. All right. Well, let's have a look at the team. Now, Sinnings, I've already committed to this. I think I might actually drop the difficulty to Legendary the next career series I do, do because what I've found is I did a put I did a poll which is really interesting that um uh, a fair few hundred a f maybe it was only a thousand I can't remember in the end but it was an interesting poll that um I, I asked my community that watches what difficulty do you play on and I was surprised only about ten of I, 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 hang on I need to get the numbers exact I'll get it up on my phone because I should get it. I should get the numbers. Right, because it's been up for a couple of days now. It might have slightly changed. Right, so here we go. So there was about a 1,000 people that voted on the poll. The question was, what career difficulty do you play on? Be honest. And obviously, you've got to take um, people's honesty with a pinch of salt. So with 15% of the vote was ultimate, followed by legend at 39, world class at 25, 13 at professional, 9 at semi Pro. But the thing is, what I found it really interesting was that only 15% of my audience, if they're being honest, actually play Ultimate. So a lot of the suggestions about feedback and tactics and players, um, a lot of people actually don't play on the higher difficulties, like on Ultimate. So, for example, 
this is an unrealistic team, but this is what you have to do on FIFA 23 if you want to play on Ultimate, in my opinion. You have to play with a five at the back formation. You have to use all these sweaty tactics. I've been finding a lot of success with this, but is this the most interesting thing to watch? Because you have to play really, really sweaty. Um, I've loaned out most of my wingers. I haven't really used a lot of them. So maybe next season or maybe the next career series, maybe I drop it down to legendary so then we can play like a 4-3-3 or not a five at the back formation, which we have to do. Because from what I've noticed, like I am really struggling with defending on FIFA 23, especially on ultimate. Obviously, the lower the difficulty you can do, um, the easier. Because like, for example, if you would like, a lot of people wanted me to do like a realistic career series. I tried to make it as realistic as possible at the start in the first window. But once we hit January, man, we really had to sweat and change up this team i just don't know if that's interesting to watch i guess it's kind of cool that like oh you really have to sweat and do this sort of stuff if you do want to win but um yeah maybe the next series we do it on legend so then we can play with wingers like i guess some people wanted me to win the league with scott mctominay and fred like the only way you could win the champions league and like the premier league with United, with like McFred in the midfield, is you would have to play on legendary and world class. So it's nearly like I'm trying too hard. We're sweating so much that it's nearly... I don't know if it's enjoyable to watch. That's what I'm basically saying. So I'm just sort of spitballing here. I was just having thoughts. It's like, I feel like you can actually have some semblance of realism last year on Ultimate, but I just feel like it kind of goes out the window. And we're, like, really relying on Ronaldo to, like, carry the team. Ultimate is way too hard. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm just sort of thinking. I think, like, the harder the difficulty goes, if there's a slider right, the harder the difficulty is, the less of the realism it is. And I, you, you kind of want to, like... Like, I've been super ruthless with a lot of these players. And, like, if they're not going to make the cup, they're, whoosh, they're out. So... I think we'll continue on, but I guess this career series can be, hey, if you want to actually play Ultimate on FIFA 23, this is what I would recommend to do. But anyway, thank you for the um, the voting on that poll because it gave me a really interesting insight that like, well, the majority of you, so 60% of the people that watch, like 60% play on World Class and Legend. So maybe I should play on that. Yeah, because also we have to get like, on Ultimate, you need a 86 rated goalkeeper. Um, flat like we can't play a rotational goalkeeper in the cup games on ultimate because we're just going to concede like obviously you would play your first team goalkeeper in the the important fixtures in the premier league then you'd rotate a younger cup goalkeeper which would be serviceable but man the goal like playing an 82 rated goalkeeper in the cup we were conceding left right and center so it makes me think, the next career series I do, I think we'll switch it back to Legend, and we'll see how we go. I don't know. Let me th what are your thoughts and opinions about that? I'm just sort of spitballing here. But I think we'll continue on because we've, we've, we're have already <laughs> well, well into um, our way of using this five at the back formation now on Ultimate. So I think we continue to go. All right, so let's have a look at the calendar real quick. Yes, so we recently just lost against Spurs... Yeah, we even got pumped by Man City and and Chelsea as well. All right, so hopefully we can get to the next knockout round. Uh, we got Leicester, Arsenal, Man City, and then we got the May calendar, and then that's it. Season one is done. So let's have a look at the team. We've got Osserman, Ronaldo, Frankie De Jong, Savage, Fernandez in the midfield. We've got Phil Mendy as a right back, Davies as a left back. That's it as well. Like we were using Shaw and. Dallo as our right back and left back and they simply weren't good enough we had to move them on to bring in these guys uh, Martinez, Tomori, Varane, Mike Magnin in goal here is the team looking at the squad uh, why can't I wait what why is it not showing oh I guess it's Europa League goals oh that's annoying maybe that's bugged Anyway, Traore can be moved to a camp. All right. So let's have a quick look at the standings, where we are around. All right. So Premier League, we're currently topped by two points. Liverpool in second, Man City third, Chelsea fourth, West Ham fifth, Arsenal 
eight. Also, sorry I was a little bit late here today. I was watching the Arsenal game. It was pretty good. 1-1. One, one. We're in the semi-finals of the Cup against Man City. And we won the Carabao. I've always said Carabao. I think it's Carabao, technically. Because it's an animal, isn't it? And slash energy drink. Anyway, let's get stuck into this match now. And hopefully, start things off well against... Bayer Leverkusen. I'm trying to think what I should use. They've got a pretty good team. No, I think we go with the white kit. That's more than fine. All right. So they've got Maratta up top. That's interesting with Florian Verts looking to whip balls in and around. They have Saliba and Tapsaba, Frimpong, Diabe, and Haradeki as well. Interesting team. All right. Let's get stuck into the first match of today's episode against Bayer Leverkusen. Um, sorry, the chat is English only, so I'm going to remove that. I don't know what you're saying in Polish, I'm afraid. Yeah, I see, yeah, you're only allowed to speak in English in chat because I don't know what you're saying, so. Let's go. Oh, that was it as well. I want to check my, uh, controller settings because I think they changed. So bear with me. Yeah, so... So I thought I had... So hang on. Tactical defending gives you the ability to time your tackles and maintain your position. While legacy familiar... I think I want to be on legacy... Because this actually... When I, did the when I did the ultimate team stream... I didn't realize that you couldn't actually play on legacy defending, which I'm pretty sure. So I had that on tactical just then. I thought I was playing on legacy. I don't like time finishing, even though you can get pretty overpowered long shots. And I usually just leave everything else at default, I think. Analog sprint on. Right, okay, and then we leave it like that. So, I thought I was playing on Legacy Defending. So, we'll see how we go. Anyway, want a really good result here as we go away to Germany. Nice interception there. Fernandez. Oh, might have to go away himself. Ugh. Just needs to release the shot. Great goal. Just before the fifth minute there, Bruno Fernandez with a nice solo run. Somehow caught them out the back. Interesting striker they've chosen to chuck up top. Alvaro Magrata. Yeah, what career series would you guys like to see next? After this United. Um, honestly, I haven't really decided yet. Any interesting balling coming in now? Maybe from Diaby? Nice. I wonder if my defending is better. So now I'm confused because I thought I was using legacy defending this whole time and I was using timed. Good block. Terrible pass. They're on here now. Oh, Mike Magnan. Good save. Great ball to Frankie De Jong. Ronaldo wants to go. Florian Verts. To Morata. Oh, just wide of the right post. Also, guys, as you come on in, make sure to leave the video slash stream a like. Would really appreciate it. Also, subscribe if you're new. We're getting pretty close to 100k subs. Which is really cool. Hopefully you guys can be a part of that. It's Frankie De Jong's away here. Nice little run from um, Frankie. As we're 1-0 up. Okay, so I like to call up the player that I've found. Play it in short. And try and find an opening for someone. Sergi trying to go for the power shot there. I probably should use that more because that power shot... When you can get it off is wicked. And come on. Nice. Alright. Things have sort of 
quieten down a little bit. Oh, how is Ronaldo still inside there? Might need to sweat it to Frankie De Jong. He does. And we're 2-0 up away against Bayer Leverkusen. Let's go. Calvin, hello, hello. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? This team is a very, very good career mode side. This by Leverkusen team. I kind of like that they've got Florian Verts like dictating the play, creating everything, and then they've got Morata up top. It's kind of cool. Oh no, Verts is away. Mike Magnum with the save. Oh! Absolute backbreaker there. How did Rafael Varane not get injured? Oh, they're putting a lot of pressure on me here. Oh, Mike Magnan, holy shit. Bilal, hi Tom, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Bilal. Ball in. Oh, Davies win that, we might be able to go with him. Ah, uh, it's half time. Anyway. Really good start away against Leverkusen. Yeah, we might be able to wrap up Season 1 here today. I don't know. Depends how I'm feeling. But there's plenty of football this evening. United play uh, in a couple hours. Who do you think is going to win? Big match. But yeah, the point I'm just trying to say is, um, it's a, it's not wrong. Sometimes in some, oh, that's a great goal there. Sometimes in FIFA, um, sometimes in FIFA's ultimate difficulty gets ruined for whatever reason. Um, I distinctly remember was it twenty FIFA twenty two or oh, sorry FIFA twenty or twenty one, where like you basically couldn't play ultimate. You had to play like ultimate on the realism mods and stuff. Also, that's another thing as well. I I quite often play ultimate modded, like. Since, what, December last year, up until now, I was playing Ultimate Difficulty on the Realism mod, which is so much better than, like, vanilla Ultimate Difficulty. So, yeah, maybe we switch things to Legend next career series. What do you, what do you guys reckon? Just so we can do more real... We can have, like, we can perform with terrible players. Because that's the thing. People want me to use, like, Hannibal Medry. Uh, people want me to play with some of the youngsters. Garnacho isn't in this version of the game, but, like, I can't conceivably think of why I would play or, ha like, I wouldn't get success with Garnacho on Ultimate Difficulty. Yeah, what do you guys think? Would you sacrifice game difficulty for realism? That's basically what I'm saying. And I'm, in, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds about it, to be honest. I wonder who the people are... Some people are really, really uh, staunch advocates of, like, realistic and realism career modes. I wonder what difficulty, when they're saying these comments and stuff what they actually play on. Like, I'm curious to know. Because I, I think this is just not... Just people just don't understand how ultimate, like, is. Interesting ball in. <sighs> Great save there. I don't know. Just trying to troubleshoot it, trying to spitball it. Uh, we might need to do some subs soon. We've kind of let them get back into this game a little bit. They look a little more lively. And I am a little bit worried because they do have some dangerous players. I've also switched things back to legacy defending, which is, is actually making a huge difference. I thought I was playing on legacy defending. That is uh, unbelievably cringe. There we go. And Osman is away, hopefully. Great goal. 3 1 now. We should be able to tie things up away in Germany. Avida Ze. <laughs> yeah, it's more like uh, well I guess that works it's like 
Tschüss. Like, goodbye. A Vita Zane is more like formal, I guess. But I guess if we beat Bayer Leverkusen, we're never going to see them again. So, <laughs> I guess it works. Um, let's move Rashford on. Uh, let's bring in Shaw for Tomori. Let's bring on Malassia. Let's bring on Donny. And if we can bring on Sancho, that should be all right. Yep, let's do that. Also, the same thing as well. Like, Sancho is a terrible winger on ultimate just because he's not quick enough. So, I've had to move him to a central midfielder to get the best out of him. However, if we're playing on legendary, does that change things? Probably. You probably can use someone like Sancho. Like, oh, shit. 3-2. They've really brought it back. Like, honestly, if you, were to play, if you were to not sign a single player for United, could you actually win the Premier League or the Champions League in like two, three seasons? And you don't sign anyone. I don't know if it's possible. It'd be super, super hard. Okay, so, damn, I would have really liked the 3-1 away result because we could have essentially simmed that one at Old Trafford. It's a foul, but okay. We might be able to get something late here, which would be really helpful. Can we? Who's this? Malassia? Out of nowhere? Oh, great shot on target. Alright, so things have been complicated slightly with a 3-2 away win, but we'll take that and try and do something. Did you know yesterday Phil flowed and slipped on the streets of Manchester? Or something? Oh, I didn't hear. That's good if he's out, not playing. Obviously, he wouldn't wish an injury upon anyone, but... Hey, the more Man City play it, first team players out, the better, I reckon. I don't know what happened. I didn't see. But it might be an excuse. You never know. Sometimes players are in quotation marks uh, injured rather than they actually are. Um, okay, so we've got Leicester now, then by Leverkusen. We're going to need to play the first team again, though, eh? All right, let's uh, play with the second team, which is slightly rotated. Uh, Mike Magnan's gone up to an 89. Okay, let's uh, get stuck into this next match. And I think we'll play with highlights. Yeah, full highlights. Because Leicester could score some goals against us. Did we win? Yeah. 3-2. Kind of narrowly, actually, in the end. Alright, Leicester at Old Trafford. Let's go. Still firmly in a title challenge as we are top of the league. Oh, here we go. 22 minutes in. We have a penalty. Can he convert it? No, I went the right way. Shit. Tamikas. From Liverpool plays left back for Leicester. That's kind of cool. Alright, we've got a Leicester City counter attack here now. We need to try and stop this. That's a great ball though to Vardy. But Tamori's going to gobble it up. Another solo run for Leicester in the 33rd. I really do like this feature. This is great. Um, I was actually a little bit like... Oh, shit. Hesitant for it. Oh, fucking oath. Vardy's just banged it in there. But for, like, content, it's great. Because you could really edit this crossing stuff out if you wanted to. And then just be like... Because quite often... Oh, wow. Um, you kind of edit matches, like, super far down anyway. Like, people that, like, watch, like, my, for example, my highly edited career modes, I sometimes, like, for a career series, right, you sit down and play for, like, I don't know, 12 hours of gameplay and recording, but once you put all the goals in and cut everything out, it probably only goes for about four or five hours of, like, footage. So, if you're just, like, purely doing rebuilds or like only after the goals and stuff it's pretty good come on we might be able to create something here 
They're sitting back really deep, though. There we go, Sergi. What? Okay, we've got another penalty now. We're actually 1-0 down against Leicester. We went to the right. I guess we go to the left this time. Oh, nice. Puts his laces through it at the Stratford end. Marcus Rashford makes it 1-1. All right, we're saving the points. We can't afford to drop any. We should have been um, probably winning that. All right, we're going to take a 1-1 draw against Leicester. That kind of sucks because we need every single point. But, hey, we had two gifted opportunities. To be fair, Neto probably should have converted his one. But hopefully we can uh, still continue our title challenge. The thing is, like, I need to kind of switch my mentality from, hey, we need to qualify for top four, that, hey, we're in a title challenge, and we need to switch on. All right. Um, hmm. I think I play this match. Seeing how we were a little bit scuffed on the highlights there. I can't afford to be knocked out of the Europa League. So let's play this one. And hopefully we can go to the next round. And cross our fingers and hope that we get a favourable draw. Jeez. Ronaldo scoring eight Europa League goals. But yeah, I haven't decided exactly what next career series I want to do. Um, I am uh, trying to record some other content as well because I, I do want to try. Here we go. Ronnie's away now. Oh, taps over with the interception. I am also recording some shorts and um, other career mode content as well. I'd love to get some rebuilds going. Oh, shit. Oh, big save. Wasn't the best shot by uh, Florian Verts. But, uh, yeah. Hope we can get some rebuilds. Hope we can get some other videos. Because ideally, I'd like to put at least a video up every day. Along with a stream. Oh, okay. That's probably a red, actually. Awesome and better not be injured. Holy shit. We've got Rashford, but... Wait, it's only going to be a yellow card for Diabe. Shocking. Also, as well, we had to increase our squad depth massively. We've had a couple injuries here and there this season, but nothing too crazy. Um, but that was the thing as well, playing on Ultimate. You need to substitute players from a position of strength. Like, you need to have a stacked team. Like, if you're bringing off Ronaldo and Osman, you need to bring on someone sweaty like Pedro Neto or Florian Verts that I've found. Oh, I've been caught there. It's going to go out favorably. But yeah, no, I haven't really decided. We could do Real Madrid and maybe, like, sign like no one. Um, but I don't know. Should I do just normal career mode videos as well as live streams? Like, have a live stream series going and then, like, I don't know. Maybe there's tutorials or tips and trick videos. Maybe I could do my tactics as a video. I want to do both. What type of content do you guys want to see? Give me some ideas. For career mode. Oh, God. Because, um... I do understand that Ultimate Team isn't for anyone, everyone. And I don't know if it's overly for me, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not the type of person to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a game. Uh, just so I can have the best cards to beat players and teams. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that, so. But I guess not everyone does that. That's why people watch, like, Road to Glories and stuff. But, yeah. I don't know. I think I'm kind of done with Ultimate Team. It's the one and done. I usually play it for, like, the first two weeks of fee. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, it's three, three hits. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You only have 20 viewers. It doesn't matter. Why would that matter? Niall. People come and go. Who cares what, how many viewers you have? Also, this gets uploaded as a video anyway. It's going to have like a couple thousand by the... Uh, once the video goes up anyway. Not everyone can watch live. People watch on the catch-up. 
That's definitely a red though now. Also, I think the football's on, so a lot of people are watching that. That's a red card now. Also, you get your most viewers on sort of day one and like concurrent. But for me, it actually doesn't matter who's... It doesn't actually matter the concurrent viewers. Shit. Oh no, they're going to go up here. Oh fuck, I thought he scored. What matters to me on YouTube is um, when the video goes out and how much it gets. But yeah, no. You go fucking crazy if you actually care about the viewers and people watching. There we go. Ronaldo needs to finish this and he does. That's a banging goal there. So ah. But people pop up and say, um, g'day, then like head off. Like some people drop in, drop out. Oh, we took the lead now. Increasing it further. The lead in this match, 2-1, 5-3 on aggregate. Dude, by Leverkusen are turning up, though. Holy shit. Frankie De Jong had to release a banger. Oh, I'm here. That should be enough. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe on Twitch if you fucking, like, need concurrence to pay the bills, but it doesn't matter really on YouTube. And that's what I say, as well, come and go as you please. If you don't have time to sit down and watch it live, watch the VOD. At your own pace. Oh. But that's the thing on Twitch as well, they don't even save their VODs, they get deleted after 60 days. But, um, what, what's this? Part 5 on a career series? People tend to switch off. If you look at everyone's, um, first episode of any series, it gets, like, more than, um, the rest of the half of the series combined, regardless of who it is. It's weird. Mendy's away here now, though. Oh, we squandered an opportunity then. Maybe if we try and switch it to Davies. There's Ronaldo. Also, up until the uh, last two weeks, I hadn't streamed on this channel in over two years. We did the um, Spurs career series live in FIFA 20? 20, 20, I can't even remember now. I think it was FIFA 20. Whenever the All or Nothing documentary came out. But... Um, We'll see how we go. Usually I get burnt out of streaming and then um, just go back to videos. Because it is a little bit hard on me. Some people may or may not know that I do have to stream of an evening here in Australia. Kick things off at about 10 o'clock tonight. Going to be streaming to about 12 or 1, depending on how I'm feeling. I'll get some food, have a break for a bit. Then we're going to be on the Simpsons Total War channel playing some strategy games a bit later. For another couple of hours and then I usually go to bed. <laughs> nice! Alfonso Davies with a brilliant goal. Alright, we want to try and hold on to this lead now. Um, but things might get, I don't know, things might get easier when daylight savings happens. Here in Oz. Alright, let's change that. I think it makes it worse, actually, for me streaming, like, time-wise. Far out. 
Will you do a Real Madrid career series this year? Yeah, I reckon I will at some point. Don't know when exactly. Could very well do it after this. Um, uh, yeah, I did say I want to do the top teams in Europe's top five leagues at some point. So that goes for Spain, France, Germany. I don't really know if I'll do a um, Italian Serie A career mode. I feel like that league's kind of chalked without mods. Anyway, 3-1 uh, victory. Massive. We go 6-3 up on aggregate. We actually pummeled them at Old Trafford, which is really good. Now, who are we going to get? Let me know in the chat. Do you reckon we're going to get Juventus, Benfica, Man City, West Ham, Zagreb, or Leon? Who do you think is more likely? God, I hope we don't get Man City. That's going to be so annoying. All right, let's continue on. Is he going to tell me? We got Leon. That's pretty lucky. That is pretty, pretty fortunate. Leon in the Europa League. Wow, okay. So, what are the other results? Juventus, Jack, you're wrong. <laughs> so, Man City play Juventus, bro. Could you, could you imagine if we face Paul Pogba in... Um, The final. Unbelievable scenes. All right. So, where are we in the league? Ooh, we're drawing with City. Uh, uh, no, we're drawing with Liverpool. They've taken the lead, actually. We do have two games in hand, though. We've got a game over Chelsea, but they sit behind. We need, to be, we need to win this match against Arsenal. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jack. Hey, Dom. Welcome to today's stream. And then we've got the cup final against City. So I think I'll play this one against Arsenal with the first team. And let's continue on. We're going to need to play it full, I think. Oh, God, I don't want this kit. It's gross. They have Sergio Roberto at right back, which is interesting. Um, and we'll let them play in that. Yeah, I can't stand that green kit. Oh, they signed Lee, Norm uh, Lee Normand. He's a very good uh, centre-back from uh, Sociedad French. How you been doing with the transfer? What do you mean? Window? Transfer window Sam s slammed shut. Or with the new transfers. I don't know exactly what you mean. Be more specific, please. I'm assuming you mean the left-back, right-back transfers that we brought in in Davies and uh, Mendy they've been pretty good oh how did Ronaldo stumble through that nearly got the shot away but we kind of need to win this match against Arsenal oh but they're away he's massively offside yeah yeah they've been good the fullbacks have been insane They've even, like, picked up a couple goals here and there. They've really opened up the team. Go on, Frankie. Nice. 1-0 up away against Arsenal at the Emirates. 10 minutes in. Let's go. But also, we've got to sort of put our attention to the match against Lyon, who have Lacazette, don't they? He's going to be deadly. There we go. Get it to Ronaldo. Oh no, that's a, how is that not a penalty? Oh, fucking oath. But also, I reckon a lot of people are just play in career mode now great goal by Ronnie 2-0 up 
I reckon a lot of people, um... Yeah, just like playing career mode now. A lot of people have a copy of the game because it's now fully released. Some people can't afford or don't know how to get early access. 22 goals in 27 matches. That's insane. Oh, Odegaard on the breakaway here now. No. Oh, dude, that double save was ridiculous. Hi. Hi, Toon. How you doing? At least I don't get bullied. I want nice people here. What do you mean you got bullied? bullied? What are you talking about? On episode 4, they bullied me. What did they say? I can't remember that. Oh. There was a lot of shit I had to remove on that episode. I can't even remember it. It was a lot of nonsense. <laughs> God damn. Dude, Davies is going to fucking run this if he's not careful. He might have to go the way himself. Oh, he scuffed it. But, um, yeah. Do you guys watch other people's United Career series? Like, how's everyone else doing, I wonder? Like, where are they? Oh, dude, we're 3-0 up now against Arsenal. Remember when you wanted to get rid of Ronnie? Yeah, Bilal. Um, I do kind of regret that. But hey, that's um, that's the thing where you sometimes got to accept that, hey, I was in the wrong. Yeah, I wanted to get rid of him. I play just, just the way in those friendly matches when we played with him off the bench, it just, I don't know. It, like, I just didn't feel good playing with him. He was also worth an sh absolute shit ton. I thought we could... Okay, wow. That would have been a good goal. I was thinking, oh, maybe we can reinvest that $60 million into someone else. He's only going to be here for potentially a year if he retires. And then there was a stage where I was like, okay, I think he's got a brace, didn't he? And then I brought him in. But hey, look, I was wrong. I was wrong. But now he's been our best player. And, but that's football for you. Sometimes players like swing... They, they come in and come out of form like crazy. But, uh, yeah, we I probably would have sold him if we got some offers, to be fair. But, um, we didn't. I think he's good. He wanted to sell Cristiano and, and start... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Isn't that, I just said that. Yeah, because like the, his finishing is like off the charts. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I blasted it there, though. But, um, yeah, he's uh, still insane. Also, the problem is, as well, I was sort of maybe uh, lending into real life. Because he hasn't been... Look, he's had a couple little bits of individual brilliance at United, but... Like, overall, they've looked better when he's not playing in the team, which is weird. But, like, yeah, his finishing is, um, like, ridiculous. Oh, I f I, as I said that, I've absolutely drilled it over the bar. Uh, yeah, I think we wait a little bit longer. But also... He's probably going to win us a Premier League title, but we still need to look to the future. Like if... Oh my God, Osserman's just slipped his man there. Just needs to play Ronnie, who tees it up. Dude, absolute rocket sometimes off his boot. 4-0, smashing Arsenal. So Let's get some fucking... 
I wish I had a sue emoji. Let's get some fucking Ronaldo's in the chat. And Bruno, but whatever. Bro, Arsenal show why they're in uh, eighth in this career series, I guess. But as well, if it, it also depends how you're looking at career mode. Like, if you just want to go for trophies and try and generate money for the club, it's probably maybe an all right deal to move him on. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I think it's offside in the end. But also, we have wasted a year of potential growth for a player as well. So although Ronaldo's been playing amazing, and he's scoring goals left, right, and center for me, fuck. I'm missing a lot with him, though. We could have had a full year of growth for Osserman. If we're going from the perspective of the club that we need to build a Champions League team in, like, over two, three seasons as well. So there is a downside to playing him. Arsenal get their goal back. Viva Ronaldo. Ronaldo hat-trick. Yeah, he's been insane in this game. Arsenal get their goal back with Martin Odegaard. But that's probably it. But this team is uh, getting to the point where it's probably... Good enough to go far in the Champions League. Oh, we're going here again now, though. I suppose you just need to go for the shot. There we go. Yeah. Like, it's actually ridiculous, he's shooting. Once you, like, get in there, it's just bang! He might even beat Mo Salah's record. Which is kind of nuts. 25 goals in 27. Jesus Christ. Dude, you might get another one here. This could be 6-1. I want to try and convert because now I'm going for the record. So, bro, I love how we can like do that match against Leverkusen, and then we can just pump Arsenal like this. Holy crap! That was a Ronaldo decimation. Five goals for Cristiano. Just everything was going through him. Look at that, man. I'm Aussie and Thai. All right. So we got Leeds, City in the Cup, FA, and then we got that match against Leon. All right, let's play the second team then. Uh, did those developments come through? Frankie De Jong's gone up a plus four this season. Tomori 83. Oh, yeah, Sancho's going to Madrid, isn't he? Next season. Osserman's gone up heaps. Anthony out on loan's done all right. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Doesn't matter because it didn't go through. Uh, yeah, we're still trying to get him as a DM. And where was Neto? Where's Pedro Neto? And is he being a center forward? Oh, he can be a center forward now. Nice. And then I eventually want to make him a striker. Because he's been really good there. Okay, well, let's play the second team now. 
against Leeds. Bit of a rivalry, this one. Hopefully we can pull out the W. It's at Old Trafford, so we will have the home ground advantage. And we'll let them play in the white kit as well. All right, let's play highlights on this one. I tend to play highlights over attacking highlights, to be fair. That seems to work. What's the football score at the moment, though, anyway? Wow, Arsenal winning three... Wait, Arsenal going to win 3-1 over Spurs. Party, Jesus, Xhaka getting the goals, Kane with a penalty. Oh, shit. Yeah, last time I looked, it was 1-1. One, one. Wait. Do United play tonight? Or when, when do United play? Arsenal top of the league. That's hilarious. No, they're a while away. I thought there was more football on tonight. Right, we have a solo run here with Pedro Neto. So I'm going to go right, and then so we can send in Rashford. There we go. Oh, I nearly put it out too far in front of me. But we're going to take the goal here against Leeds. Uh, Manchester United counter-attack. Let's go. Donny van der Beek is going to receive the ball. Ah, oh, terrible in the end. Marcus Rashford has scored 18 goals in 26, though, to be fair. Like, we've conceded heaps, but our goal-scoring record is off the charts. Oh, Neto's probably going to have to go here himself, and he does. What do you think of Tyler Adams? Uh, meh. Sort of ambivalent towards him. Great goal here by Neto, though. 2 0 up now against Leeds. Oh, I stuffed up there. I, could, I should have just ran it. We ran right into the path of Bar the former Barcelona left back, um, Fiapo. We're going to call this up. Try and tee it up to someone. Interesting ball in. Didn't work. We're going to win it back, though. Frankie de Jong's on the ball. He's been wicked. Savage. Back to Frankie. On the volley. Three goals to nil. We lead. Great goal again. Yeah, so I downloaded the day one patch and the update. Does Anthony have a game face? I don't know because I've started this career series in the early access version. And we're away here now with Neto. I'm going to try and put it in the top right if we can. There we go. That's good enough. Can be a little bit tricky to do that. With a left footer. But United lead now. Four goals to nil against Leeds. Very, very nice. Crossing opportunity for United. Milinkovic Savage dropping back. Whoa, I didn't release that shot. The pass. They have a free kick now. I'm going to bring it in short. Malassia. <laughs> Just straight at his feet. That's uh, a, a uh, fullback <laughs> shot, <laughs> if you've ever seen it. As we beat them 4-0. Can't stand the new way of the game. Uh, yeah. I don't really care. Uh, I'm not very good with free kicks anymore, to be fair. I don't think I was last year. Not the best at crossing. Yeah, pens are different as well. I'm still getting used to that. Well, we've got Man City now, and then Leon over two legs. We might need to prioritize this one in the cup, to be fair, with the first team. 
Uh, but we will be move, going with a weakened team in the in the Europa League. We should be okay. All right. What other stuff have we got here? Oh yeah, we got some reports. No. 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 Uh, you look alright, Da Costa. I usually just go buy money rather than looking at a potential potential. Like is it? Yeah, I mentioned that. I think uh, Leon, to be fair, have a a decent roster. They have a pretty good goalkeeper as well, I think, on the books. All right, let's uh, play this match against Manchester City now. Semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Team seems to be a little bit exhausted. I actually like that away kit that City have. The black and red. I think it's cool. All right, let's get stuck into Pep Guardiola's Manchester City at Wembley now. Everyone seems to be really exhausted, though. We've won the Carabao Cup. Can we win the FA? <laughs> At Wembley as well. Lopez, that might be it. All right, just got to be careful working the football here. Oh, they have um, Indica in the defence. Oh, they got Soler as well. They've strengthened their team really well. Nice, Tamori. I think Ronaldo's offside there. Seems he predicting the Man U vs City game. Yeah. Imagine. Could you imagine if we get the scoreline right? De Bruyne looking to wind up Tamori with a really good tackle. And now we've got a counter-attack here. Potentially if we can just release Osserman. That's a brilliant ball there from Cristiano. Just has to beat Edison. He does. A massive counter-attack down here in Wembley. United take the lead. Really good stuff there by the boys. Look at that ball from Ronnie. Ran it in. Boop. Great goal. Victor Osserman, the Nigerian international legend, gets the goal. Five at the back, just sitting back. Oh, somehow got that. Frankie De Jong. Just go for the long shot here. <laughs> <gasps> we just had so much space. I was like, fuck it, I'll go for the power shot. Alright, come on. Man City on the attack. Ronaldo trying to drop back. A lot of pressure. Forced the passing error. It's going to be a yellow for Phil Foden. Be careful of Haaland. Yeah. He is uh, a very good player in this FIFA. He's got to protect the football well. We've got a lot of players forward here, though. Uh, I think he was onside. I wasn't expecting him to be on, so I passed it back really quick. Nice. And let's go all the way back and bring Mike Magnan into this as United try and build things up from the back. Davies wants to go forward. Frankie's still on. There we go. Is that a foul? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Varane's on the inside. Needs to stop. Erling drops him. I think it's going to be a clean tackle. Edison has the third best passing in the game. Probably. Look at that. Stopping the shot. Rafael Varane drops him like a sack of spuds. 1-0 up in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Oh, Davies turns his man, beats one. Oh, looks to go beat two, but can't. 
Alfonso Davies can be a left winger. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. He's really good. That's a terrible ball from him, though. Soler into Erling Haaland. Off the crossbar. And we're just scrambling to try and get it out. Dude, they, he should have scored that. That's so unlucky for them. And now, United committing players forward. Massive counter-attack surging. Trying to find someone. Osserman, it's a bicycle kick by... R I can't stand that, that. That's a thing still in FIFA. The fucking bicycle kick defending. Did you see that shit? How does he get his leg above his head? Did I sign Hakimi? No, I didn't. It was too much, I think. And, oh no, it went to a vote. I think it was both. People voted for Phil Mendy as our right back. Which seems to be better, to be honest. Oh, here we go now. Oh, Frankie De Jong. Oh, big save. Still 1-0. Anything can happen in this fixture. Oh, Haaland's at the back again, though. Oh, Mike Magnum with the save. Holland's look good. He just hasn't been hitting his targets well. Come on. Go on, Bruno. Look to release someone here now. There's acres of... Shit, you should have made the pass to Osserman. They do some... Oh, there we go. Oh, I thought you had insane passing. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. The best is Modric, followed by KDB. Nice. Let's make some subs. I think their team's just getting exhausted. Let's bring on Malassia. Let's bring on... Hmm, let's, uh, let's bring on Rashford. And let's bring on Sancho. And we'll leave it at that for now. Narrow 1-0 lead. Man Manchester City probably deserve a goal, if we're being honest. Man City got a Kanji. Not in this version. That signing wasn't updated in the early access version for whatever reason. Here we go now, though. We just need support. Ah, oh, I couldn't even find Sancho. Yeah, Sancho's on. Oh, shit. No! It's taken to the 70th minute. Manchester City finally get their goal. Disappointing, Matt. How does Sancho get a minus seven on Cam? Yeah, I don't know. We don't really have anyone who can play Cam that well, and I can't be bothered changing the formation. He'll be fine there. He's good enough. Even if he has some of the stats minus. All right. Malassia. Oh, just trying to run it. I think it goes to... I don't even know. What happens in the semi-finals of the cup? FA. Does it go to penalties or does it go to another replay? That'd be annoying. He hasn't got the pace, Sancho. So we might have to just like... Try and get it on the inside. Come on. Oh, Ronaldo's being tracked out of this game. Furlong Mendy. Back to Ronaldo. Oh, you should have made a... A play of that. You should have just dropped... Uh, Man City now, surging players forward. KDB trying to find Erling Haaland. Who gets the goal? They've taken the lead. Finally gets his goal. United could be out of the FA Cup. We need a goal. Extra time. I think it goes to extra time, then penalty. All right, we're going to have to go ultra attack now. Which does what? Changes the formation to a 4-3-3. And I guess we'll do this then. Yeah. 
And we just gotta fucking send it. Let's uh, bring on Neto, I think. Yeah, and we just like go for it big time. Come on. Ugh, that's gonna suck. We did win the Carabao Cup, I guess, but I did want to go far in this tournament. Come on. We've got one opportunity. We've got one chance uh, to really make it, and that was probably it. Now they're just like time wasting. But we can't afford them to score though as well. Look at him holding up the ball, the freak. Nice. Ah, uh, that's it, we lost. Shit. Oh well. That's career mode for you. You win some, you lose some. I feel like we dominated that match. We started off well, but we just didn't keep up the momentum. Yeah. Man City probably deserved to win that. Alright, FA Cup journey done. Do you reckon that's going to be the result in real life when it happens? Two one, so Manchester City are probably going to win the FA Cup because they're going to have West Ham. It's probably going to end two one. Bro, my phone was glitched. Couldn't use chat. Thought you banned me. <laughs> Don't really ban people. No, you don't seem to be banned. How am I doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, well, that's gutting. Hey, look, you can't win everything. But looks like the treble's off. Look, I did say I wanted to go far in the Cups. I am still trying to prioritize making top four, which we're on our way to do. Hell, we're in a title challenge. I wanted to go far into the Cup, which is like, that's a semi-finals far. The thing is, once you get to these, like the quarterfinals... So, if you get to the round of 16, the quarters, the semis, like, as soon as you get to the quarters, it, that's, anything can happen in career mode, you never know. We did win the Carabao Cup, though, 3-2. I would trade that for an FA, but whatever. What's going on in the Champions League? Ooh. PSG are going to make the final, potentially. Haaland is unstoppable. Yeah, we've conceded a lot against him. Now we've got to switch our focus and attention to the match against Lyon. Yeah, no, I, I really struggle to play against Salah and Holland. It's Haaland, isn't it? The problem is I learned how to say his name before he was popular, and everyone everyone used to say that I listened to would be Holland, like ho like a hall Holland. Um, like English people talk about him, but now it's like now he like this is like before his days of fucking. Um, Salzburg when he was at Mulder. I, I keep on so I, I change it's Harland now. It's like Jermaine Genus, Jermaine Genus. Like he changed it. As long as you talk about it, it doesn't matter. As long as you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we got Leon. Wolves. Dude, we could have the final here today, maybe. We could have the season one finale. Maybe even a sneak preview of season two. Crikey. All right, let's get stuck in to Lyon. Who have they got? Lacazette, Cherky, Paqueta. He plays for West Ham now, eh? Taliso, Cocorette. Botang, Lopez, Taglafico, Tete, Veltman. That's a wicked career mode side. Away against Lyon. Let's go, come on. Yeah, I thought Spurs were going to win as well. Arsenal, um... What's your thoughts on the Arsenal versus Spurs game? I, I didn't watch. I only watched the um, the first half and then I had to stream. 
But I looked on my phone just then. Apparently, um, Arsenal won three one. That's the last time I checked. I don't. I, I, it could have changed. But uh, no, I am definitely. If I had to pick between a team to support or the players to like, I definitely prefer Spurs over Arsenal. I kind of can't stand Arsenal, to be fair. Ugh. I'm talking about like real life and watching them and stuff. And like the badge and the colors. Like career mode's different. Like I play everyone on career mode. And then like as a game, craft your own team. That's different. Oh, Osman's away here now though. Oh, he got the goal. Is this against his former side? Did Osman play for Lille? I can't even remember. I'm going to have to check that. He used to... He used, Sorry, he used to play for Lille. I think he might have used to play for Leon, didn't he? He used to play for Wolfsburg. On the breakaway, though. Just sweaty as. Uh, let me have a look at his wiki. So, Victor Osman... Played for Wolfsburg... Lille and Napoli. No, he didn't play for Leon. Maybe I'm thinking of a Bamiang. Who played for like Santetti. Oh no, he played for Lille, didn't oh, I can't remember. Yeah, I know Osserman played for Napoli. I mean beforehand. He played for some other French team that wasn't Leon. Like a Bamiang played for like heaps of French teams. Oh shit! Good block in the end. Ottoman play. For no, I'm not talking about Napoli. <laughs> I meant when he was in France. Oh, a great ball though. Maybe just try and sink it on the head of Ronaldo. Oh, good block there by them. To be fair. All right, let's try and. Maybe it's like Bruno go. Oh. Nice. Get up, Sergi. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, I was going to bang it, actually. Alright. Leon a little bit shell-shocked now, but we've got to watch out for Lacazette. Ronaldo's kind of been man-marked. After scoring, like, oh, we chipped it over the top just wide. Emmerich played for Barca, Dortmund, but now he went to Chelsea. No, beforehand. I think he played for uh, Lille and then Saint Etienne. I'm more thinking further back. But no, I haven't watched the Arsenal game, I only saw the result. I wanted Spurs to win, though. I like Conte as well. I think I like a lot more Spurs players. Um, then, um... Shit. Arsenal, yeah. No, I'm definitely more of a... I'm, I'm definitely, like... Pro Spurs over Arsenal, if I'm being honest. Oh, my God. Great save by Mike Magnan. Probably made it look more difficult than what it was. Oh, they got a goal there. When is Ronaldo not man marked? You're not wrong. It's 1 1 now. I'd take a draw, but I'd rather a win. The more goals we can um, get away, the better. We'll take off the pressure. That was a foul there. But we're going to allow advantage, apparently. And Ronaldo might have just slipped his man. Oh, can he get the follow-up? No, just straight on fucking toe-poked it. Also, guys, if you haven't already, make sure to leave the stream a like as you come on in. Mike Magnan used to play to Leon. Yeah, uh... I think you're right. He used to play there before he went to Milan. I feel like we got a couple of players facing their former sides. Oh, hell. Did fucking Varane used to play for Leon? I can't even remember. 
Who did Varane used to play for before Madrid? There we go. Oh, I tried to get it back on his left. Hang on. Oh, no. I think Osserman's, um broken his arm. Oh, no. He's still down. No way. Great tackle, Martinez. He's still down in the box as well. Oh no, hopefully that's not a a devastating injury for us. And they go up the other end. What's going to happen here? Yeah, no, Osserman's hurt himself really, really bad here, guys. He's going to have to go off. Hopefully it's not for the rest of the season. They might have to stretch him off. He hasn't broken his arm. That looks pretty bad. <laughs> He's holding his shoulder, maybe. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta make a sub. We gotta bring on Rashford then, I guess. Season injury, maybe. That's tough as. Oh no, as we get into the finals of this uh, Europa League campaign as well. All right, we're gonna bring on Rashford, as Osman has gone off with his injury. Come on, Rashi. Let's go. Lens and then Madrid. Okay, it was something that starts with an L. Wow. How many months do you reckon that could be, guys? That could be uh, terrible. Who picked up a big injury earlier in the season? I can't even remember. Oh, it was Jao Mario. <laughs> he had a three-month injury, didn't he? Which is pretty bad. Rashford wants to go for this, though, now. Still 1-1. One, one. Uh, we've still got the second leg at Old Trafford. But that's why you need uh, squad depth. Because he's been great this career series, Osserman. But it might be... Oh, there we go. Come on. Ronaldo needs to finish this. And he does. So ACL seven months. Holding his arm. Four months hamstring. Four months just injury, yeah. It's a bad one. Broken toe two months. I don't think they have an animation specific for the um, actual injury. I think it's just like a general injury when they hit the ground. That's pretty funny. Yeah, if he has like a broken toe, but he's holding his shoulder. <laughs> Win that. Oh, nice. Come on, guys. Oh, Rashford now. I think they're sort of wanting to go a bit forward. Doesn't have the pace compared to Osman though. They are playing Boateng. Oh, okay. In the defense. People forget he used to play for Manchester City. Before Bayern Munich. Taglafico as well, playing for Ajax. Come on, can we get this third? That'd be wicked if we could. Oh, I really don't want to concede, actually. So let's try and drop back there. There we go. Oh, get it to Frankie. Oh, really fell to Rashford well there. All right, two, one. Snatch and grab victory away in uh, Leon, but it could be really, really bad for Osserman. Is this supposed to be Haaland? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what round is this? Uh, I actually don't know. I can't remember. It's like the semis or the quarters. No, I think it's the semis of the Europa League. All right, let's uh, advance. Is this Pep? No. It does. If you look at them, it's, it, they do have a description of what they are. The emojis, which you can get. I'm going to add some more. Maybe I'll get some more done. 
because they're just kind of funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're available to YouTube channel members only. So if you're interested, it's there. All right, here we go. Oh no, Victor Osserman is done with a dislocated shoulder. He didn't break his arm. He's out for two months. Oh, that is gutting. That's devastating. He's not going to see out a Europa League campaign, nor will he see out the end of the Premier League. So, let's have a look. So, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, eight. He's going to be back before preseason, but he's gone. Two months. Jeez. Who do we bring in? Do we bring in Rashford? Or do we bring in Pedro Neto to help out? I think I bring in Rashford, but far out, guys. Absolutely gutting. No, Victor. You bastard, okay. Good morning, lads. Good morning, down bad for watermelon. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, let's bring on Traore, I guess. All right. So we continue in the, yeah, semifinals. So we're going to have to play Rashford a lot now, which is interesting. So we got Wolves coming up and then the other match against Leon. So we'll deal with that. Conte out. <laughs> I show melon. Oh, no. I show lemon. Damn bad for water watermelon was the guy before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, let's play the second team. Against Wolves. And we'll play Highlights. We don't have enough players to meet on the bench, really. That can't make sense. How's everyone doing this evening? Also, if you haven't already, as you come on in, make sure to leave the uh, stream a like. Would really appreciate it. Really helps the YouTube channel out. <laughs> At least Pedro can play a little bit more. I suppose you're right. He's going to be brought on the on uh, off the bench rather than your um, Rashford's, I guess, because Rashford's going to be playing heaps now. He's sitting there. Oh, I just couldn't get the ball into feet. Manchester United counter attack. Twenty minutes in. Let's go. Also, subscribe if you're new. Would really, really appreciate it. We're nearly... Oh, there we go. Neto on his left foot. I'm going to switch it, try and go top right bins. There we go. Pedro Neto makes it 1-0. Against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Let's go, Pedro. Oh, dude. It's against his former side. <laughs> Celebrating unapologetically. Wolves tack 23 minutes in now. With Adama Traore, with like the 94 pace. This guy's rapid. Oh my god, what a save by Mike Magnan. We have a penalty at the other end with Rashford. I've missed a couple with him. We're going to try and hit it to the left. Nice, top left bins. We go 2 nil up now. I'm going to watch Chelsea. Yeah, a lot of football tonight, I think. Who's playing tonight? What are the fixtures this evening, guys? It's for see. It's this. It's um this evening, um in Australia. Well, hell, it's only a couple minutes to midnight. 
you should change the second team a little because Rashford uh, is starting in the first team. Yeah, I did have a quick look at that. I don't think we have a proper backup striker. We don't. We've only got. Um, oh shit, we've only got four strikers, and then Osman got injured. Wait, what? Neto. Oh, I should have passed it to Rashford. Because all my because the thing is I'm I really don't like to allow players to waste their potential. I nearly like um, overly loan out players rather than probably what I should. Oh come on, Pedro! Oh he was on there. Wolves attack in the 86th. Liverpool got Brighton. Okay. Who is um the manager? Oh yeah no oh shit, Adama's gonna score this. Shit, we go 2-1 late on. We should be able to hold on. We've got six minutes left. Yeah, they signed that um, wild Italian goalkeeper, Roberto Di Zerbi, didn't they? Crystal Palace play Chelsea. I'd have Chelsea for that one. Liverpool play Brighton. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of goals in that Liverpool-Brighton match, I'd say. I reckon Liverpool are going to win 3-2. Chelsea are probably going to win 1-0 or something. Everton versus Southampton, I don't really care. What I miss? Go watch the uh, VOD. You can replay it. Skip through it, then come back. I lay that on my streams. I don't need to recap it for all the people here that are still watching. Uh, Fabio da Costa. He looks all right. Uh, he's too young to be promoted. All right, we've got a, a decent-looking crop of players, though, which is cool. Palace going to win against Chelsea. Big call. You going to put some money on that? Don't care about Everton. Yeah, Everton versus Southampton seems like the match I would least like to watch. But, hey, um, unpopular opinion. If you're sitting down to watch a football match, AFL is way fucking more entertaining and enjoyable than soccer, I'm afraid. Like, if you're looking action per minute, like, an AFL... I can watch, like, any AFL game and, like, can stay completely locked in. But with soccer, I know it's, like, a slow burn. But, jeez, I, I couldn't watch Everton versus Southampton. But I could watch, like, St. Kilda play Gold Coast and it would still be... You know what I mean? Like, probably, like, two teams that are, like, around their level. You know what I mean? Um, I just think um, AFL is, like, a more interesting game to watch. Okay, so we're actually coming to the final calendar month in this career series. We've got the other semi-finals against Lyon. We're winning 2-1 on aggregate. We've got Liverpool, Everton, Brighton, and Aston Villa. Crazy. We might be able to wrap up Season 1 here today. Whew. Maybe. All right. Um, first team. Yeah, so Rashford was a good point. I don't think we've got... We haven't got a striker. Oh, we do. We've got Noble. Yeah, but he ain't good enough. We can't play Noble in that second team. All right, here's the first team now, though. Uh, are you going to do Season 2 this stream? Oh, I will do Season 2. Might even do a couple seasons at some point. I'm, I'm not going to do Season 2 this stream, no. We might wrap it up here today. Um season one but i don't know exactly i still want to go for a little bit longer just yet we'll just see how long we go um let's uh skip and play this match with the first team it really depends on this match because i'm probably going to only stream for another half an hour here today or so and then i'm going to um have a break have some food um, have some lunch, which is essentially, I guess it's like a midnight snack, <laughs> but, but it's like my lunch because I got up late. Um, and then I'm going to maybe watch some stuff for a little bit. I want watch a documentary. And uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm I not like sponsored or affiliated with them, but uh, Nebula and Curiosity Stream, I got that. That's like, that's like really, really good. Here's some good documentaries there. Um, like I pay for that. That's great. And then 
we're going to go on the SimC Total War YouTube channel and then play some strategy games this evening after this stream. So, if you'd like more content of me, <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. But, yeah. I want to try and get through as much as we can in this season. We might have the Europa League final here today. Maybe. If we make it. Or the Premier League final day. It just depends. I'm in no rush. It's a great ball over the top two. Davies, though, swings it in. Ronaldo can't get to it. But we've got a 2-1 cushion. We're at Old Trafford. Can we make the Europa League final here today? We've had a very, very favorable draw. One Basaka facing his former side. That's the thing is as well, maybe next career series we drop the difficulty and we can probably play with someone like Juan Basaka and win the Europa League, but not on ultimate. There we go. That's some great football. Just need to be a little bit calm here. Milinkovic Savage, big block. We're looking good in this match, but we've just looked a little bit toothless. We haven't got the shots on target. Great. But I really love this team we've built and developed. There we go. Oh, perfect. Ronaldo. Osserman was... So, I'm not going to say that. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. How we go without Osserman now. But the thing is, look. Luckily, we bought Osserman. And we have Rashford as a replacement. Like, we would have been stuffed if either one of them went out, out earlier. Oh, that kind of sucks, though. But hey, that's career mode for you. Injuries do come uh, thick and fast. And you have to adapt. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're 3-1 up now. I wouldn't put it past Leon scoring a couple, though. As I say that... Yeah, goalkeepers in this FIFA, like, are so good at saving outside the box. Like, I don't think I've scored one, nor have I really conceded a goal outside the box. Uh, if you're on ultimate with a goalkeeper, like, 86 rated. Jesus Christ. Mike Magnan, 90 rated now. This guy's a fucking Chad and goal. He's so, so good. Win that. And Frankie De Jong doesn't really have the pace, so... We're going to have to be a little bit careful where we go. Look at that. They basically just caught him. But the five at the back formation. Really, really liking it. Oh, there we go. Can we get another? No, yes! Yes, yes, yes. 4-1. I think we're going to make the Europa League final, guys. But guess what? It's going to be against Juventus or Manchester City. Which sounds more like a Champions League final. Oh my god, who is this? <laughs> Bruno. It was better, Dave or Mike Magnan. I think... Uh, Mike Magnan definitely is, but um, David De Gea was pretty good. The only reason we sold him is because he was 32 and VRAL launched a... We just did someone then. He, they... They gave me 65 million for him. Which is insane. But... Yeah, no, if you, if you can't get a goalkeeper... And you need Dave for at least a season or two, he's pretty serviceable. Also, guys, make sure to leave the stream slash future video a like. Would appreciate it. In real life or on FIFA? Oh, I reckon in real life probably David De Gea is better. But, yeah, this is FIFA. I'm always talking about FIFA unless I say otherwise. Because, for example, goalkeepers can play until they're like 35. On FIFA, they go down in stats like crazy. Oh, big... Deflection there. Ira has to be De Gea, yeah. The lady was about to jump off. Yeah, she was about to jump off into the stadium. Oh, 
I'm gonna play this up. Come on. I think I might take that. You said goalkeepers are good, right? Uh, I said, hang on. Well, I was just playing Man City versus PSG and I shot a ball from halfway line. Dom River didn't even save it, the attempt. What difficulty are you playing on? If you do that, anything below like well, uh, if you do like semi-pro or professional, anything below that, it's like, what are you, what are you playing on? I'm also, when I, when I talk about difficulty and stuff, I'm talking about legendary or like ultimate... Um, I guess we try and put this in. But also, the AI can let in one stinker. Here and there. Yeah, when when that halfway shot, and then Donnarumma didn't save it. What difficulty was it on? You know, sometimes the goalkeepers get can get sighted as well. Like they can't see because there's so many players in front. Well, class. Well, that's your that, that's your bloody um, explanation there. Oh, how's he let that in? I'm talking about goalkeepers. Uh, great saving shots. Any shots. Like I would say, nine out of ten. Shots goalkeeper save outside the box on ultimate slash legendary, but more ultimate. It's like, oh, the AI is crap on semi pro and professional. Look, no shit. They're letting goals all the time. So of course they do. Actually playing on baby difficulty, like at that point. What does it go, beginner? Oh fuck. Amateur, beginner, semi-pro, professional I think. Oh my god, how did Bruno get that out? God damn it, man. Inside the box, not good enough. Brighton lead Liverpool, do they? Yeah, I said that. I reckon there's going to be a lot of goals. I reckon Liverpool are going to uh, win 3-2. But there's going to be like five goals in that match. Apparently, De Zerbi plays like really, really open, expansive and attacking football. All right, we're winning this match 3-1. And it looks like we're going to book ourselves a place in the final of the Europa League as Rashford's on the breakaway here. He's got Ronnie at the back post, but I don't think Ronaldo's going to be quick enough to get there. Has to go all the way himself. Makes it 5-1. Europa League final, boys. Here we come. Jack is fuming because Liverpool have scored I uh, been conceded IRL. What are the scores around the leagues at the moment? Why is it not showing me the live score? What? Oh yeah, here we go. My fucking thing wasn't updating. No, I thought United were playing tonight. I'm mistaken. I'm not mad, I'm just furious. Oh, Ronaldo here now. To Frankie. Oh, Lopez. Great, great save. 
And we win 6-2 over Olympic Lyon. Yeah, we can score a lot in this game, but we um concede a hell of a lot. Nice. And it looks like it's going to be a Manchester derby, Europa League final. As they pump Juventus. Wowzers. Please stop spamming Alperin. That's enough. Uh, I don't want an option to buy. I'm just straight up happy for a two-year deal. Wow, would you believe it? We have Manchester City in the Europa League final because they got knocked out of the Champions League. That is beyond cringe. <laughs> it looks like a club in Manchester is going to win a European final. So what, what happened in the Champions League? Real Madrid played PSG. They finished in third. Leipzig knocked them out. Wow. Milan didn't qualify. Uh, Juventus didn't... Malmo qualified. Unbelievable. So... We might have time to play the Europa League final here today. Maybe. Maybe. We still have to put our attention to the um, Premier League, though. We might be able to win the Premier League, to be honest. Depending on these last results. I feel like... Hang on. Have teams dropped points? Have Liverpool and Chelsea... Oh, they fucking lost to Brighton, Chelsea did. Uh... Yeah, they lost to Leeds. Yeah, the, the AI is throwing. Look at this. Liverpool lost to Leeds. Man City drew. They're losing some stinkers. Look at our goals for. Look at our goals conceded. 50. We are... <laughs> is it top? We are like 11th in goals conceded. Oh my god. Palace lead 1-0. Is there going to be a bunch of upsets today? Yeah, my prediction was Liverpool 3-2 victory. Chelsea 1-0 win. Um, I didn't care about the Everton results. All right. Well, let's deal with... So we got Liverpool here, though. Brighton and then Everton. So we have a game in hand. We're five points clear. So we might need to play the second team and then the first team. We could win the league in our first season, which would be outstanding. All right, let's uh, play highlights on this match against uh, Aston Villa. Against Stevie G. Come on, guys. Let's go. Yeah, I think we'll wrap up the Premier League calendar. Oh my god, they got Ander Herrera. Oh, here we go. Rashford with a solo run. 12 minutes in. This is an absolute gift if we can convert it. And we do. I love it when the highlight gives me a easy goal scoring opportunity like that. Manchester United B take the lead against... Aston Villa. We might get a secondary here. Neto seems to be out the blocks. Whoa, why did he hit that? <laughs> what? Another opportunity. United getting a bunch. They look very open here. Oh, big block on Diego Carlos. That sucks. Aston Villa now have a crossing opportunity. Oh my god. Great recovery. Corner kick now. 60 minutes in, we lead Aston Villa. One goal to nil.
Just trying to stretch the play a little bit now. There we go. Milinkovic Savage. Out of nowhere gets a really good goal. 2 0 against Stevie G. He would want to stop United's title challenge if he could. Traore. Oh, terrible. And a Herrera with the uh, interception. Another opening here. Trying to slip through Neto, who blasts it over the bar. And we host Aston Villa at Old Trafford with a 2-0 victory. Liverpool beat Man City there. That's huge. Okay, so is this the title decider? Not quite. We might be far enough in front. This could go down to the final day. So we've got Liverpool, Everton, Brighton, Man City still to play. And we'll play with the first team. Man, it's so gutting that we're missing a key crucial player in Victor Osserman. Sucks so much. All right, looks like uh, Schultz is going to go out online. All right, well, I'll be back in a moment and we'll try and wrap up the Premier League final days. So BRB, just need to go AFK briefly for a second. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I want to try and get the context on a win or a loss or a draw, what happens. So Chelsea still have a game. I think we can nearly claim the league mathematically if we win this. Because Liverpool can't catch us. I think we're in a really, really good position looking at our run and draws. 
So a win here today might claim us the Premier League title, which would be huge. But Liverpool are a team that I've been smacked by a lot. So particularly if they're playing Mo Salah. All right, here we go. Diaz Nunez. North West Derby. Here we go. Need a win. Dude, we're getting contained massively here. Martinez, an unlikely player just to join the attack to create something. Ball in. Oh, off the post. Oh, and Sergi puts it uh, over the bar. Brighton. No way Brighton are 2-0 up against Liverpool. That's what I'm saying. Look, I, I said. I said 3-2. Liverpool, so. I should have put some money on it. There we go. Oh, Ronaldo slipped his man brilliantly there. We're just pounding in the goals. Ronaldo. So He actually might have the record. What's the record? 32 and then 33, isn't it? What's that? Oh. He might beat Mo Salah's record in this career series, Ronaldo. Now I'm going to try and score with Ronaldo as much as I can. Oh, I want him to beat Mo Salah's record. That would be wicked. Yeah, a win would be huge. But hey, I just kind of wish the... Um, other AI teams would get enough points compared to the realism mod because it might be one of those leagues where we win the league by I don't know eighty eighty five points right, I'm gonna try and go for a free kick with Ronaldo <sighs> straight at the wall Liverpool. Oh, Mo Salah nearly snuck that one in, I think. It's a great ball. And Ronaldo's are released again. Oh, brilliantly finds Bruno. Oh, how did we not score that? We opened them up massively there. Bruno ball in. Win that. We should be 2-0 um, up here. Nice tackle. There we go. Go on, Bruno. Please finish this. We've opened them up. It's sometimes really, really hard to get it past Allison, But we've done it there. The two Portuguese combined. And that's something special there by Bruno Fernandes.
we could win the Premier League title here today, boys. Nice tackle. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought that went in. Mike Magnan didn't uh, need to make the save attempt. Nice. Oh my god, they're just like dominating Ronaldo. Go on, Bruno. Win that, win that, win that, win that. Oh, come off it. Make Ronaldo the captain for the Europa League final. That's not a bad shout. If we can get him to the... Uh... Yeah. Oh no. Darwin Nunez. Absolutely bangs it there past me. Kind of sucks he doesn't have a game for us, though. Do we want to see Ronaldo or Bruno lifting the Premier League trophy? I don't know. Bruno's the captain, though. Oh, go on. At the other end here now. Somehow got that past him. Ping pong of a match. Ronaldo makes it 29 goals this season, I think. I can't believe Klopp went out and signed Musiala. FIFA is unrealistic. How is Nunez scoring? <laughs> oh. Too funny. Too funny. There we go. Oh, go on, Ronnie. Get onto that. Now we face the other Merseyside team. Everton. Oh, my God. They're coming back here. Oh, my God. The AI, like, went for that. That's so funny. And now we can counter. Oh, Ronnie ain't going to beat Canate there. Keep it for Bruno. Please make De Gea captain. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely haven't been here for very long. <laughs> You're definitely a freshie. Little blackjack, I'm assuming. Man doesn't even know that <laughs> Dio was sold like six hours ago. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's 3-2 here now, though. Oh, fuck, man. We might just have to park the bus. We can't afford to lose this match against Liverpool. We've done so well to go in front. Luis Diaz trying to stop our title charge, because this is a title to side of this match. All right, let's... Uh Rotate the team. <laughs> Day I left about eight millennia ago, my G. <laughs> yeah. Big rip to Dave. Currently out in Spain, living it up with uh, Unai Emery at Villarreal.
Is the window open? No, we're having the title decider at the end of the season. Nice. 3 2. Also, why does everyone think the transfer window's open? It would be irrational to just change the captain who's been the whole season just because you reach a final. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that as well. But also kind of like the image of Ronaldo lifting Europa League title. But also Bruno's the captain, so he does deserve it. I can see both points. Wow. A narrow, narrow victory against Liverpool is probably going to win us the lead there, league there. Dude, it's not like it's been a domination. <laughs> like, I feel like the other teams are thrown a lot, to be fair. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. I actually don't mind Uno Emery. It's pretty funny. He's a funny, funny cat. All right, we still on 82 points. But hey, can you remember the realism odd? We lost the league on 90 with uh, 91, 90 with Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the things that like infuriates me with uh, FIFA is that the AI like doesn't hoard enough points. Like, you shouldn't be able to win the league on like 82 to between like 84 points. All right, well, we are six points clear. I think if we win this one, we've won the league. So, will it say in the news? Will it tell me? Manchester City crowned champions of the FA Cup. Dominant Manchester United... Oh, no, we sealed it. Wait, we won the league. After performing consistently at a higher level, Manchester United can celebrate after lifting the trophy with two games spare. We won. <laughs> with Chelsea now seven points behind in the Premier League with only a few games to go, everyone's asking. Okay, so I think we've won. I think we mathematically won the league. And then we've got to deal with the final. Try to buy Eden Hazard. <laughs> this is this guy like not listening? <laughs> yeah, I've won the Premier League, bro. I think so. I think we go to the Brighton match so we can lift it on the final day. We should have lifted the trophy at Liverpool then. I guess that doesn't happen in this. We skipped the celebration. I think it. it's not like... Um, I don't think it would have happened in that Liverpool game. It didn't, like, come up. I think it's on the final day. So let's uh, play highlights with the second team on this one. Because, you know, in FIFA, like, even if you win the Premier League, like, five games before the last match of the season, the celebrations don't happen to the final day. For whatever reason. That's what it was always in FIFA. So you always have to play the final day. We haven't got the trophy thing there. So we'll play Brighton on the final day and then I guess try and seal it. It will happen on the final day, yeah. It's just like a thing with FIFA. It should have popped up that... Um, Hey, if we win this, I think you mathematically win. I miss Osserman. Yeah. Gutting. Not going to make the final. But it's crazy that we won the league. <laughs> but we still got battered by Man City and Chelsea. And Liverpool heaps this season. Like, they just sucked against the lower teams. Nil-nil against Everton now, though. Oh.
What's the score in the uh, Liverpool Brighton match? Still 2 0. Yeah, I told you Brighton were going to score goals. Liverpool are shocking at the moment. Oh, we can't even get a goal here, though. You should bring on Ronaldo to break the record. Uh, won't let me, I don't think. He was, he was a long way off. He needed like five goals, I think. We'll have a look at it. I think he was too far off to really go for it. We can still maybe go for it on the final day. Get out of the way. Was that a goal? What? How did that not count? I swear we put that into the back of the net. Did that goal just get disallowed? What? It's going to be a draw anyway. That's annoying as. Alright, we should have the Premier League celebrations here today. Uh, the agreement has been done there. Newcastle beaten Fulham. Crystal Palace 1-0 up. Oh, I thought this was some sort of animation. This is uh, Schultz going out on loan to Turkey for two years. Oh, he looks alright. Alex Lima with Camille, so... I wonder if they'll sack Klopp. Will you make a Real Madrid season? Uh, I think I will at some point. That's the plan. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I haven't decided yet. Could do a vote. All right, here we go. So, final match of the Premier League season. Hopefully, we can lift the trophy. Then we've got a match against Man City in the Europa League final. Here we go. I can check Ronaldo, but he scored 28 Premier League goals. So, he needs five in this to beat the record. Four to match it. I don't want to completely exhaust him, though, because... We're really lacking in the striker department, and we kind of need him for the match in the Europa League. So we're going to have to play with the second team, though. I might actually bring on Noble. Uh, I'm going to give Tellez a run. Because we've won. 
We've got to make sure um, Fernandez is on, though. So he can lift the trophy. And... I think that's it. I think that's fine. All right, let's go. Match against Brighton. I think we play it because if we can get five goals with Ronaldo, he beats... He gets... No, oh, he's not going to be on. Actually, I'm going to do a save because I want... Maybe I'll just go highlights. Yeah, we're not going to be able to score five goals with Ronaldo and I don't want to exhaust him. Because I'd rather focus on... The Europa League final match. I'll go highlights quick. Just so we can get to the trophy celebration. Because this is a dead fixture. If not, we'll reload and play it if the trophy celebration doesn't come off. Play Ronaldo. No, I'm not going to play Ronaldo. Winning the Europa League final is more important than Ronaldo scoring five goals here today. Which he's probably not going to do. He didn't have enough. Look, if it's if it's like one or two, yeah, but I'm not going to exhaust him. Who's Noble? Oh. Yeah, I guess he's that youth academy player. He might score. He's not scoring five. We're 2-1 up now anyway. Yeah, Bruno's still on. That's good. All right, winning 2-1 here against Brighton on the last day of the season. Oh, Noble. Oh. Nearly got the goal. How are we still keeping this alive? Who is this? Milinkovic Savage now. Still 2-1 up. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, he blasts it. Hey, that's it. We won. Now it should kick off with the trophy, shouldn't it not? Why is it not going? Nah, why? Is it bugged? We should have had the uh, festivities. Because we won the Premier League. Maybe it's bugged. That fucking sucks. Mark Noble makes his senior debut. What? Oh, well. Why would it do that? Highlights don't have cutscenes. Why would that make sense? Oh, well. Like, I don't know. I don't want to go play that full match for there not to be a cutscene again. Because it could have been on... Um, No, but it does. It shouldn't matter if it doesn't have hot high, high, highlights. Don't have cutscenes. It has it had the ending there. It should have played the ending. It had an ending. It just didn't play the celebration one. That's so fucking stupid. Oh well, does it give us the trophy though? In here though, it should tell us. Hey, we won the league, and the cup. All right, we have one here against. Um. Man City. What? Oh. It's annoying, but I don't, know. I don't think it's worth going back and redoing those games just to have it. We'll have the celebrations here anyway. Well, massive. Well, okay, that's, that's assuming if we win. <laughs> So, let's have a look at the Premier League table then, how things ended. So, after 38 games, we win the Premier League on 86 points. 
followed by Chelsea in second with 78, Liverpool in, 80 in third with 77, Manchester City fourth. Yeah. I kind of hate how, like, all those teams have those points. Like, they should have at least, like, 10, sometimes 20 more each. Winning the Premier League on 86 points, when it's usually one upwards of, like, 90 now, is kind of ridiculous. Bournemouth, Nottingham, Fulham get relegated. Man City win the FA Cup on penalties. We won the Carabao. And now we're in the Europa League final as well. Which we'll play here today. Group stage, we topped. We had a pretty easy run. We knocked out Braga. We knocked out Leverkusen, 6-3. We knocked out Leon 6-2. We scored a lot, but we conceded heaps. But Man City, they beat Juventus. They beat West Ham and Galatasaray. All right. Here is the team. Awesome and not going to travel. We have won the Europa League. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully we can win the Europa League. We've won the Premier League. We've won the Carabao Cup. We have an opportunity to win a treble here. Let's go. Come on, guys. Manchester Derby. Europa League final. Uh, kind of unfair, if I'm being honest. Let's do it. Come on. Going for our third trophy this season. Would have won. Would have loved to win the FA Cup because then it would have been the treble. But hey. This will decide our season. In France. Ronaldo looking good. Frankie De Jong on the TIFO. Let's go, boys. A team we lost to recently. Need to switch on here. Interesting they're playing Phillips. Great tackle, Mendy. Not, oh, it's gone out. Not only is it a cup final, it's a um, Manchester derby. Come on, guys. Let me know in the comments. What's your predictions for this match? Mike Magnum wins it. He's going to bomb it up to Bruno. He takes a really bad heavy touch. No. Erling Haaland. 10 minutes in, Haaland starts off the scoring. Spyro, hey, hey, do. Welcome to the Europa League final. Dangerous as always. Going one player down, and we're away. Rashford finds Ronaldo. So see. 3-2 for City, you reckon? It's 1-1 one, one now, 15 minutes in. Two one City, no one has faith. Holland got the first goal. Ronaldo with the second. Oh, shit. Got to watch Jack Grealish on the attack. Not the quickest. Oh, my God. Mike Magna with the save. Yeah. Those long shots. Here we go. There's a foul there. I want to take, I want to take the foul. Oh, that's not advantage. You can't play that. Ref. Win this, though. Oh, big tackle by Sergi. Molikovic Savic. Nice. Oh no, they're on here now again.
Great block. Now keep it going. Nice. United. Look to go on the counter-attack. Release him! Oh my god. Nice. What a great tackle, man. Frankie wants it. Oh, couldn't give it and go. No. Oh my god. It's Erling Haaland again. This guy is unstoppable in this game. Over the top on the volley as well. 2-1, Manchester City lead. Haaland determined. Oh, Mike Magnan got a little bit of a faint glove to it. Where is Osserman? It's just the Erling Haaland show at the moment. Manchester City sitting deep. There we go. Yes, Rashford. No, what? I'm going to play it short. There we go, that's a bit better. Now try and get it back in to someone. Oh, big block. That's a good header. There we go. Oh no, I should've just buried it. Manchester City lead 2-1. Oh, it's so unfair that we got Man City in the Europa League final. That is so stupid. What are the chances of that happening? Oh my god. Martinez getting caught trying to play it out from the back. Love to see it. Jack Grealish winds up. It's 3 1. We might not be able to win our first trophy in Europe. Come on, we need a quick reactionary goal here. Go on, Ronaldo. So Still in this. It's only 3-2. Come on, Lissandro. There we go. He's won it back well there. Everyone's offside though. There we go. Rashford, he's away. No, he's not. Ruben Diaz caught him though. What are they doing? Couldn't win it. We've actually had the possession over Man City, which is the funniest fucking stat I've seen. Look at this counter-attack, man. They're sliding in like mad. That was a foul. Who's this? Phil Mendy. Go for it. Phil Mendy! Oh, he put it wide! No! Oh. He bottled it. I don't know who we bring on. I think we wait. Oh my god. If that was anyone else, you might have buried it. Phil on Mindy. With a stinker. He's not a goal scorer, but fucking oath. And Man City on the attack here now. Oh, what? That is the most ridiculous goal I've conceded. 4-2 off a huge deflection. Haaland gets another. Unreal. Check out this. Look at this lol of a goal. Look at this. This is this shit's written. Tomori just puts it in. 
hit him in the chin. <laughs> oh my god. That that one shit me off. Oh god. Because now we're fucked. 4 2, 70 minutes. Oh god. Alright. Alright. <sighs> this game is gonna kill me. <laughs> Ronaldo with just like a solo run. Uh, um, let's bring on Donny. Uh, let's bring on Sancho. Uh, let's bring on Malasia. Let's bring on Shaw. And then I like late, late, late. Four, three, man. Hat-trick for Ronaldo, but we need a win. There we go. Come on. Win it. There we go. Oh, terrible passing. There we go. Nice. That's a red. That's, it's got to be a red. We were away there. Yeah, it's going to be a Man City red. And we're going to just like go for this now. Oh. Come on. No. We're pushing a lot of players forward. I think we're fucked. I'm going to bring off Ronaldo. And I'm going to bring on Neto with the pace. Like, we just got to fucking go. We're on ultra attacking. We got to win it back. They're going to try and time waste. Come on, we need to win it. Win the ball back. Oh, that's it. We we're on. Devastating. If you can't play, bro, don't play, bro. <laughs> it was just unlucky. Ronaldo hat trick. I can play better than you. You've got an Arsenal player as your DP, I don't reckon. Uh, hey, that's career mode for you. We couldn't do the treble. We're going to end it with a Premier League, though. And a Carabao Cup. Oh, what what are the what were the stats? Yeah, I was actually quite close. Like stats was, it's this goal here. This if if this goal doesn't go in, we we go to penalties. Like, look at this. This is like the most horseshit thing I've ever seen. We have not conceded a deflection goal this entire season. Like, look at this. Like, that is just, like, ridiculous. That is some top-tier bullshit. Oh, my God. What was this Jack Grealish goal like? That was pretty good, to be fair, that one. Oh, well. We're going to go through the stats and... Uh, Can you ban this dude? No, you can say what he wants. I don't care. He can stay. Four, three. No, don't ban him. All 
All right. Well, let's get to about here because then we can uh, recap the stats. But overall, I think a successful season. Hey, that's the whole thing. I, I said... Um, I, I, people can say whatever they want. I, I don't care. I believe in free speech. I, 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 if they want to say that, they can say whatever they want. They can look at morons and say that. I don't care. He can stay. Oh, these youth academy players look any good. We can say anything we want. Well, that's not exactly what free speech is, but as long as you're not like abusive and shit. Like, I don't really care what you say to me. 2-1. All right, well, let's uh, recap everything. There's a difference between, like, threats and stuff. All right. So, after 38 games play, we win the league by 86 points. We're going to be wrapping up Season 1 here today. Chelsea came second. Liverpool third. Man City fourth. Spurs in fifth. Arsenal in seventh. Fulham, Bournemouth, Forest. Get relegated. I enjoy the way you play, bro. Thanks. <laughs> so, Man City won the FA Cup and the Europa League. We win true two trophies. So, who wins the Champions League? PSG won it. 4-2 over Real Madrid. Man, Man City won the Europa League 4-3 over us. That was a close match, though. And Spurs win the Conference League over Ro uh, Jose. That's hilarious. So the main objective of Season 1, like I said, was to try and make Top 4. We made the uh, Top 4 and Europa League. Oh, I feel bad that you lost to Pep. Yeah, that's the thing as well. It was also... Um, Like a derby. Man City nearly didn't get top four this season. I said I wanted to go far in the cups. We got to the semi, which is about that. And we won the Carabao, which is not bad. And I wanted to go far into the knockout rounds of the Europa League. But uh, yeah, we could have won it. Maybe United are kind of cursed in that trophy, to be honest. But here is the team ending season one. Man, I wonder if we would have had a different result if... Um, Osserman was here. Why are the goals bugged? It's not saying... It's gotten rid of the record since the new update. That's so silly. Oh my... Wait, no, there we go. There, it, It's doing it now. There it is. Here we go. So, we're going through the stats now. Ronaldo finishes the season with 55 goals. <laughs> Osserman with 26. Sorry. Rashford with 26. Osserman with 21. Insane. Stats-wise as well. Frankie Dion went up a plus four. Our most valuable player is Frankie, followed by Sancho. So 
So after 65 games played, 48 wins, 8 draws, 9 losses. Biggest win was against Everton. Biggest loss was against Chelsea. What I find funny is that we won the league, but we lost... Uh, where is it? We lost against... We lost against Man City heaps. One, two... We actually lost... We've lost heat. We've lost against Man City three times in a row. Oh my god. Then we lost against Chelsea. And then I think we lost against Liverpool. Wait, we lost again against um, City. We, we didn't win a single game against City this year. Oh my god. We lost four in a row. Why did I think we could beat them in the final? <laughs> yeah, we beat Liverpool in the cup, but we drew against them. What do you reckon? Season one, successful or not? Premier League title, I'd say so, but I'm kind of gutted about that European fixture. All right, we could accept a job offer. PSG Spurs, we could take the job. All right, well, I think that's pretty much it. We can look at the Youth Academy real quick. Alex Lima looks pretty good. Could eventually promote him. Um, so where are the, hang on, I want to see the player stats. Can I see those? Uh, it's not going to let me, I think. Oh, here we go, player stats. So, <laughs> Mo Salah scores 32. Yeah, so Ronaldo was pretty far away from the record with 28. Rashford with 20. Son, Jesus. Can you please check Varan and Tomori's stats? No. The more you spam it, like the more reluctant I am to do it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We'll move to... Season 2 now and have a look at the budget and uh, what we're sort of working with, what the board wants us to do. Nice. So we finished in first, semi-finals of the FA Cup, winner of the Carabao and runner-up in the Europa League. We've come to the end of the season. I'm writing to let you know that the board is delighted with your performance as manager so far. The players and staff clearly respect you. So this is Sancho leaving to Real Madrid. Poor guy being shown the door. <laughs> okay, so now we're in season two. Didn't get sacked, no. So what do they want me to do? So the finances next season, we have 106 million to spend if we are going to do season two. And what does the board want me to achieve exactly? So the board wants me to win the Champions League, win the Premier League again and the FA Cup. All right, what do you want me to check? I'll have a look for you. Can you please check Varane and Tomori's pace? Uh, Tomori has 83 pace and 90 acceleration. Varane has 79 acceleration and 83 pace. Alright, so, yeah, I might do another save and then call it, like, season two. Got a bunch of, like, rebuilds there I was doing. Cool. 
Oh, well. Unfortunately, on that note, I'm going to wrap up today's video here. And uh, episode five, season one is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be wrapping things up here today. Any else? Any last things in chat while I'm here? But uh, yeah. Let me know in the chat and comments of this video. Would you like to see season two? Try and go back to back in the Premier League. Maybe try and win the Champions League with United. Avenge that Europa League result. Man, reflecting on that, that was so gutting. It was a good match, though, I guess. It was a really, it was a good match to watch. Or should we just call it here and then wrap up the United Career Series and then move on to something else? We can start a brand new career series as, I don't know, Real Madrid. Drop the difficulty to legendary and then like do realistic signings because I don't I don't want to do every I don't want to have to play a five at the back every single career series I do <laughs> which which would happen uh, we could maybe play as AFC Richmond we could do a creator club it might be fun playing like as a Newcastle or something build a team up what do you guys reckon let me know. Maybe I'll hold a vote. I haven't decided just yet. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Ben Simpsey. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. I'll see you tomorrow for something. Haven't decided what it's going to be. Anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting the Season 1 of the Manchester United Career Series. Really, really appreciate it. Alright guys, laters. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>